Today we are going to learn, have we ever changed our fruitcake recipe? And what is the furthest place we've ever shipped a fruitcake? All that and more on this episode of Ask CSB. Howdy y'all, Thomas McNutt, fourth generation owner operator here at Collins Street Bakery. Uh, when you've got a fan base and a customer base in all 50 states and nearly 200 countries around the world here at Collins Street, we get hit up all the time with questions about this fun and history business. So we said, well, how are we going to answer all these questions? What if we come up with a show that does exactly that? Ask CSB. This is episode two where we do nothing but answer questions about our business. So with that, let's go to our first question. Tammy in East Texas asks, has the original fruitcake recipe ever changed? Great question, Tammy in East Texas. The answer is no. Okay, I will say it changed one time that I'm aware of. And that is that when uh, the classically trained founding European baker came from Europe, migrated to the United States, got off the train in Corsicana, Texas, and came up and brought his European fruitcake recipe with him, uh, he did make one change. Uh, in Europe, they used walnuts, which is a very prevalent European nut. But here in Texas, we have the most flavorful nut on planet Earth, the pecan. And so he changed from walnuts to pecans. And that is one of the uh, uh, secrets uh, to why our fruitcake is so tasty. Is it's this amazing European recipe original since 1896. Um, but it's got a much more flavorful nut in the Texas pecan. Alrighty, y'all, let's dive into our next question. What is the furthest place Collins Street Bakery has ever shipped a fruitcake? Great question. Well, as you know, we ship to, uh, we've shipped to nearly 200 countries uh, around the world. We ship to all 50 states every year and over 100 countries every year. Uh, but the ones that come to mind, I'll tell you this. Uh, we had a customer have us ship a cake to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, one time. And so the cake had to go to the town, make it there, and then they paid somebody, uh, apparently the term is a Sherpa, to take it all the way to the top of the mountain to deliver it to the customer, uh, to the hiker uh, who was taking it. And uh, a little known fact, fruitcake is a phenomenal uh, outdoor food. Uh, a lot of uh, Ironman uh, uh, competitors, people who do extreme outdoor sports, uh, who uh, go on very, very long hikes or nature runs or things of that nature, a lot of them will take, uh, going on backpacking trips, whatever, they'll take fruitcake with them because A, it's very delicious. Second of all, it's super dense nutrition and it has a lot of different types of nutrients that give you both, apparently the science behind it is that it gives you both instant energy and long-term sustained caloric energy. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be a refrigerator. And the other things that kind of fit into that category, it's a lot of different processed foods and stuff where our fruitcake is actually like real food, you know, um, and it's not goop or whatever else. So a lot of outdoor athletes take it. So it doesn't surprise me that the Kilimanjaro climber uh, wanted our fruitcake. Uh, also, there's a rumor that one of our cakes made it on an Apollo mission into outer space. I cannot confirm nor deny. Uh, however, we do have a framed... Uh, a display downstairs talking about the Apollo mission that took a fruitcake up. So, no, we didn't deliver it to outer space, but we delivered it probably to the space station, and then the astronauts delivered it to outer space. Alrighty, guys, our last question, episode two of Ask CSB. Bob asks, do you sell slightly irregular fruitcakes? Mine usually looks like that, after about the third slice? <laughs> that is a great question, Bob, and it leads us to a fun answer. Uh, a little secret, little Collins Street Bakery off-menu item uh, that we have, but you have to come all the way to Corsicana, Texas, uh, in order to take advantage of this. But Bob, the answer is yes. We have a, we don't advertise it much, we have a seconds and surplus store uh, here at our manufacturing uh, facility. Uh, down at the end of the plant, there's an old guard shack. And in the fall, uh, if we have enough slightly imperfect cakes, we will open our seconds and surplus store. And here's what goes into our seconds and surplus store. Uh, so our quality process uh, in our bakery is extreme. Our bakers don't let anything go out the door unless they are super proud of it. And it needs to be perfect. And why does it need to be perfect? 
Well, a lot of people are giving our items as gifts to other people. Uh, uh, sure, a whole lot of people eat Collins Street uh, goodies for themselves because it's the tastiest bakery in the world, but uh, also they'll buy a whole lot to give out as gifts for people. It's a unique, wonderful gift for over 100 years old, uh, over 100 years. And so, as a result, if this is going as a perfect gift, then people need to open up a perfect presentation. And so, uh, the slightly imperfect cakes go to our seconds and surplus store. And what do I mean by slightly imperfect? I'm not talking overbaked or underbaked or the recipe was, was uh, uh, messed up or something. What I'm talking about is something that just looks slightly imperfect. Our deluxe decoration is a very precise hand decoration. Uh, fruit nuts have to be placed in the exact right place at the right angle. And so as the cakes are going down the assembly line, about to be packaged, if there's a fruit missing, if there's a pecan slightly off, they pull the cake. Ain't nothing wrong with that cake. It's the same recipe. It's just as delicious, just as valuable. Just doesn't look perfect. And so it goes to our second surplus store. We also have cheesecakes and pies and all kind of goodies there for wonderful bargain prices. Uh, but we, uh, uh, we don't like food waste. We don't want to just throw it away. That's still a good cake. And so uh, we sell it in our seconds and surplus store. Great question, Bob. Well, that's a wrap, Fruitcake fans, on episode two of Ask CSB. Thank you so much for joining us. We'd love to answer your questions, so please comment on this video if you've got questions about this fun and history business. We will see you next time. Thank you, and buy a fruitcake.